Hi, welcome to Disney to Universal. If you are new here, my name is Nicola and today's video is a look around the Lost Cauldron shop which is owned by Cherry Wallace and as well as a look around of the shop of the Lost Cauldron, I will also be doing a haul of all of the items that I got whilst I was there. I didn't film everything that was in the shop but I do show you a lot of the products that were some of my favourites in there and there was a lot more as well but I just felt like uh, the amount of favourite things I was already racking up I just thought a video would go on forever so yes I will show you around the shop some details of the shop and some of the products and then at the end I'll show you the haul. The shop itself is beautiful it definitely has a wizardy witchy Hogwarts vibe in that shop so much. Cherry has such good taste so I knew the shop would be amazing, look amazing, feel amazing which it does. I love all of her little props, the way she's decked it out is really really good. She's got a really good range of products and I love that the, as she said that there's going to be lots of new things coming in all the time so that's cool which will mean multiple visits are needed in the future. There was definitely lots of lower price items in the shop as well as some higher priced items. I think most of the shop is generally on the lower end with a few middle range pieces um, and there's not too many higher priced items. Although that being said, because of the good pricing, you will want to buy a lot of stuff. I had to really restrict myself and I still managed to spend £57 when I was trying to be very, very careful not to overspend <laughs> so i actually wanted to spend like probably about a good 15 minutes on the outside of the shop window but i realized i was on a time crunch and i needed to get on with filming so i didn't spend too long out here but you really could hello those packages and the signs wow could have bought all of these sweet jars the artwork on the packaging was just fantastic loved it but here was my absolute number one favourite, as it is Dumbledore themed, so hell yeah. And then this counter was like a chef's kiss, beautiful. That ceiling and those stars, just unreal. It is so magical in person. And just sort of showing you a bit of a pan around the shop. Well, for most parts, I didn't do the sort of window area, but it is stunning. And then this is the candle smelling area where you lift the cloche and have a sniff of the glass itself for the scent. But the details are beautiful. And I had to show you that ceiling and ceiling rose again. And here is the window section with the Lost Cauldron itself. And yeah, this shop is heavy on the detail front, which I adore because I am nuts about details. And there is so much to see in every single nook and cranny. Love this Cherry's favourite section, which has her favourite item of the moment. Another great detail of these little nameplates describing the scents of the candles. This was me smelling the butter or the buttery beer smell for the first time. And I was like, oh my God, amazing. And this was me showing you my second favourite, which was the chocolate frog. Beautiful smells. And... Again, detail orientated, I spent quite a lot of time looking at all these little cabinet drawers with all of the potion names and ingredients and things like that on, and even some ingredients popping out. I love Professor Trelawney's character in the Harry Potter movies, and these divination tea blends, tea bags, tea leaves, are there because of that character and it's a great product because it's totally usable if you like to drink different teas and I do love it when an item is made exclusively for a shop like this one is and at great prices. So I give you an overview here of the book corner area and this section nearly broke me. I really wanted to pick up pretty much every single book that was here Cherry made some amazing choices with the book she picked and they all just have this gorgeous, aesthetically pleasing look that is very magical to them. I was like, oh my goodness, how cute is this little owl? Very tempted by that. Also, some of the prices for the products really surprised me, like this necklace and that packaging too is so cute. 
You've got to think Cherry chose this because of her ceiling. It's similar, not exactly the same, but very pretty. And here are some more of those drawers. Well, the open ones, especially with the ingredients popping out the top. Just couldn't get enough of these details. So I had to show you some more of those. And all of these shelves just look so well put together. The colors and everything just work so well. Another great priced product here. Absolutely adorable. And how gorgeous and pretty and attractive looking are these card sets. And I thought they were a really good price as well. I thought these were going to be a lot more. And they actually did have a few other versions of these out on some of the shelves. So I'm just showing you those there. And some potion bottles or vials here. I love the simplicity of the labels and the look of these ones. These were my favourites. Uh, these were nice also, but just not as clean as the other ones looked. But I really liked the labels and the theming that was on these ones. And they were at such a great price. And here's a closer look of the spell names for those because they were so well done. Just really beautiful and interesting looking products constantly. Now these draw you in and these are organic bath salts that look like potions. And they again are so aesthetically pleasing on the eye. Beautiful. And here is an overview of the pin section which is a mix of the Lost Cauldron pins and other brands. You're pretty much looking at paying $9.99 for most of the pins. Loved these ones. These were my favourite three that I'm showing you here that weren't the Lost Cauldron branded. And here are all the colours that were available for the inside colours of the cauldrons. Can't go wrong with any colour. And some great deals on these as well. Uh, quite a good assortment of little creatures here. Then I'm just giving you an overview of this section. Those bags are some of the more expensive things in the shop. Um, but this section in general looked beautiful. Lots of interesting little products, but nothing that really spoke to me. So I'm going to breeze past those sections because I'm only showing the things that I really liked. And I will be coming back to these shelves because there were some products on here I really liked and great prices. Obviously showing some of those drawers again. And how cute is that pygmy puff fur? And how perfect would it have been if the last one was yellow instead of purple? So it would represent the houses. Very adorable little oil burner or wax melt burner. Couldn't find a price on it, but super cute. These are very magical in person and at a great price. Loved them. Honestly, can't get over the look of this shop. It is so beautiful and pretty and so well put together. We'll be coming back to show you a couple of these products, but an overview here. And some more of those open drawers. Very pretty colours. I love the look of these candles, love the labels on them. I was very tempted by all four of these, especially the divination one. Very pretty, soft pastel colours and at great prices. Now, I'm not a mug person myself, but... I can appreciate a good mug and I thought these were really nice. Not too badly priced as well. And here's the witch version. Very cute colours. Again, gorgeous tops to those shelves. Love the details up there. Uh, this section actually smelled really nice because as you can see, it's a lot of bath bomb products. And a lot of these are very much actually Harry Potter themed. So we've got the chocolate frogs here, which came in purple and pink, not too badly priced. And then we have the sorting hat. And then you've got the Amortentia love potion bottle. And then these are generally could be anything witchy, wizardy, but a cauldron. Again, lovely smells. This wasn't for sale, it was a prop, but I loved it and I was instantly on eBay looking for some. This was so dinky and small, I loved it. At th first I thought it was a trinket dish, but actually it was a candle, so bonus usage. A great little corner over here um, with the chair, and I really wanted to sit in the chair. There was no sign to say you couldn't do it, but I definitely didn't anyway, just in case. Um, but it would be a nice little spot to pull down some of these cards and have a good look at them. Those top two rows are all Mina Lima cards. I do have the majority of them, so unfortunately I didn't know which ones to pick up that I didn't have. 
um, but there was also some other brands like how amazing is this you actually get a necklace with this gift card and I think really amazing prices this one was one of my favorites as well just looks really effective with that necklace and then this one was super pretty probably my second favorite one it was actually really hard to choose a favorite between these and this is the fourth version honestly I could have bought all four of these but I was trying to be good and here's a few more of the Mina Lima cards. I love that Birdie Bots Bean one, but I do already have it. I wanted to show you the pricing here. And this one, ooh, super tempted by, absolutely stunning. And this is the area by the till. Love those bottles on the back, they look super effective. And I'm just gonna give you a pan of this whole area and then we'll go in close. And lots of little bag charm keychains in the till area. And I love that little spyglass or telescope. Super unique and cute. I can recommend these drinks. I've had them before and they're all delicious. Here you can scoop some stones up for a certain amount of money. And these key rings, wow, love them. Super pretty, very shiny and a decent price. And this section is generally jewellery related. So again, there are some higher prices here, but not everything is expensive. There are some really good, reasonable prices. I would have actually bought the egg to the left with the necklace, but it was sold out. So there's a mix of Harry Potter items um, or items that could definitely be looking like they're from Harry Potter and then very witchy, wizardy ones as well. And then this section looks really pretty. And some of these items were in the jewelry cabinet, so I didn't go in too close to show all of them. Okay, so next we're going on to Cherry's hidden drawer. And you can see it's Polyjuice Potion. You can try and find these within the shop. There's also one that Leslie has. And I have given little hints by panning out so you can see what's next to them. Okay, so on to the haul. And I will be including this bag, seeing as you do pay for the gift bags. And this was £2 for the large. They did have a smaller version as well. But it is beautiful packaging. I'm a sucker for a, a bag, a tote, anything um, packaging-wise, paper products, right up my street. So I was buying that bag regardless. It wasn't, I didn't really care if it was free or I had to pay for it. Okay, so item number one is this book now it's got lovely gold foil in which cherry always talks about she loves a good bit of gold foiling and this is more like a rose gold but it is a very beautiful looking book just from the outside anyway it was very intriguing to me the the way it looked and what it was about so it's botanical curses and poisons the shadow lives of plants I figure this would be a good read and it looks beautiful as well it would look cool on a shelf but also look at how pretty on the inside there are sort of illustrations and things within the book as well as you can see and this book costs 14 pounds 99 now you can buy this online for maybe a couple of pounds cheaper but when books are only maybe a pound or two more in a shop I would still rather buy them in the shop and help out that business than buy them online and also they could get battered and whatnot in the post and you get to choose the book you want this way too I love that they are not hiking up the prices like five ten pounds plus on top of the product so that's really good item number two is this jar of sherbet lemons um love this because it was specifically lost cauldron merchandise and it is also themed towards the headmaster as in Dumbledore who is my all-time favorite Wizarding World character so love that it has that detail on there lovely little write-up here as well which is really cute it says the ultimate confectionery delight adored by witches and wizards and headmasters around the globe these delightful citrus candies are no are not just ordinary sweets they are a portal to magical moments and then it's got headmaster approved so sucker 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 for packaging uh, and this is really beautifully done 
I love the lemons that are on there. So these will not be getting eaten, these will be kept as is in the jar and be a nice little decoration. And these sweet jars were all £5.99 and I could have bought quite a few of them just for sort of to have on a shelf looking really pretty and decorative. Sucker for the packaging that Cherry's come up with and this is the next item and it is the Lost Cauldron themed pins, enamel pins. Beautiful backing cards that they're on. Um, totally was drawn to the pink colour. They were all beautiful. I do love the online exclusive that she has, which is the Starry Night. So I hope to purchase that one some point. These were £9.99. <laughs> I could have this pin in every single colour and not be bored with it. The Lost Cauldron design that she came up with is so simple, but strikingly effective. Absolutely love it. Okay, next up is this little vial potion looking bottle. I will give a close up of this so you can see. It says on it, witch's store cupboard, spell and ritual herbs. And this is the divination blend. Multiple different versions of these with lots of different ingredients inside. I went for the divination one because I absolutely love Professor Trelawney. She's one of my other favorite characters. Um, so anything themed towards her, I will also be picking up. Such a cool look and again, looks very potion-y and it does say it can be used in um, for use in rituals, spells, jars, charm bags, etc. It was $3.99 and you could also get three for £10. But again, I was trying to be careful with my buying and this was my favourite one. So just thought I'll go for the one. And my last item should be no surprise because I think these are these candles are the number one purchase that I think most people get from her shop. This is the buttery beer one. I smell all of the candles. They were all lovely smells, but this one was just unreal. I mean, it's very, very sweet um, as you would expect, but it still was the best smell out of all of them, in my opinion. Chocolate Frog was unbelievably realistic in its smell as well. That was a, a close second, um, and I love the packaging on that one. But yeah, this happened to be the number one. I think this is her number one seller, which you could totally understand why when you smell it. So packaging, absolutely gorgeous. We'll be keeping both the box and the jar. And here is the jar itself. Oh my goodness. Honestly, it is like Harry Potter sweets that are the butterbeer chews that you can get. Um, I think from Jelly Belly, they are exactly the same smell. And I absolutely adore those sweets. And this just reminds me so much of them more so than the butterbeer drink itself. Gorgeous, gorgeous packaging. Which another selling point to these candles. Wow, that smell. <laughs> it's unbelievably good. And this candle is 19 pounds and 99 pence, which I think is a really good deal. Um, again, they could have easily, I think, charged 30 pounds a candle and people would buy them. So I think these could go up in the future. And here is the receipt. Cute little detail of the cauldron, lost cauldron up there. And yeah, $56.95. So it added up quick. I know that if I'd have just not even thought about it and just bought whatever I want, I'd probably be spending a couple of hundred in there easily, like without even blinking. Okay, so just giving you a little bit of a close up on these. Like I said, gorgeous packaging. Love these bags. They are definitely worth the money. Here is the book. Beautiful. And the candle box. And the jar itself. You can see the writing on there, the description just there. And then this is their business card, which is gorgeous. This is raised the gold. 
and it's got that soft feel texture yeah a beautiful job on these as well here is the pin so well done and here is the divination blend spell and then the sherbet lemons as well just so well done love 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 everything